There you are. Hello, everybody. I hope this finds you well. I'm naming this video Concessions and the Soul. Concessions and the Soul. I'm going to start by uh, thanking someone. YouTube user No Proof of Hell. I believe that's correct handle. I'll put a link below. This would be a rebuttal response to his video response to my video response debate thing. Uh, me and him have uh, had a couple of PMs together and I find him to be a, a nice man. Uh, we have disagreements on uh, spiritual matters, other things, but we are uh, of the mind that uh, these are your personal things and to debate about them would be good uh, to show each side of a, an argument in a fair and a friendly manner and let the viewer decide for themselves and I believe that's the best way to glean through all the crap uh, we, he is not afraid to discuss topics that a lot of people get angry about, and me either. But we we prefer to keep it civil. You know, let your emotions get involved in it. Think about it. If it makes you angry, then maybe there's something they're saying that's hitting a nerve. You might need to rethink your position. There comes the first part of my title of this video, Concessions. I find, after looking at the comments and visiting with some of you, and uh, reviewing some of my own work, that uh, no proof of hell was correct in pointing out a logical error. In my last video, you are not your memories. I have to point out that I found an error in it myself, in the consistency. Let me see, uh, I did a video just not long ago, I'm telling Christians that they will have to give account for every word. How are you going to give an account for every word if you don't remember what you did? So, I yield on that point. I believe that one kind of stumps me. So I may be wrong on that point about memories. However, I do remember putting a caption in there saying there are many forms of memory. Which form of memory? You know. But then that goes to the question what is a soul? Now, um, I didn't care much for the analogy you used about the body being nothing but a host for a parasite. Uh, that's not how I see it. I see it more like the, the body as a machine, much like a, a well-built automobile, except this one is more advanced because it can drive itself, you say. Like some of the new fangled cars they're working on, transportation system they're working on where the car drives, all you gotta do is give it a destination and it'll take you there. You don't have to concern yourself with the traffic that way, things. Well, the body's more like that and the soul is not a parasite, it's actually the the pilot who was given controls over the brain, which is the control panel to this machine. That's more how I would put the analogy other than that, you know. So, it's really no. We can go by, you know, what Holy Writ tells us and 
find it uh, when it goes and deals with those areas it kind of becomes symbolic like it was hard for the prophets who witnessed the other side to explain it in terms we could understand I don't think they understood probably a very fearful moment for them so the question still is open do our memories go with us and uh, I enjoyed it uh, and uh, hope to have more debates with you in the future um, and this would be a shout out as well because uh, I do think the man is a nice guy. Uh, if you disagree with him, be kind. I ask the same here. You can disagree. Keep it civil. Peace, love, and understanding. Uh, be with you all. Have a good day.